the Brand Libraries project was one of the ANZA's Strength in the Professions project and the aim we were tasked with, our group was tasked with, um, with creating a strong unified library brand that would um, spell out the economic and social value of libraries to New Zealand. This isn't, it wasn't about developing an advertising campaign. It was much more about, um, in seeking a brand, it was about going deeper than that and thinking about um, the purpose and mission of libraries. But what is it that we're doing today, or what is it that we're about, that's actually relevant to all sectors? So we need something that worked across all sectors, and we also needed something that was unique to libraries. I think there is no doubt that, well, we shouldn't forget that libraries, New Zealand libraries, um, are still under threat, and I know that many of us have more people coming through our doors than ever before, but we can't be complacent about the funding, either that will continue at the level it is, or that um, it will increase in order to match the increased traffic and the new services that we're providing. So part of this, Libraries Aotearoa, it's a start. It's a foundation to demonstrate that we're actually working together, that we believe um, that those of us who work in libraries believe that New Zealand's libraries are greater than the sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. That you take away one library and you hurt us all. So what we're doing is just, it's a vehicle. It's a vehicle for us to work either individually um, or collectively by sector or all together to advocate for New Zealand libraries. It's sort of a bit of a platform we can start to um, argue to the funders, to the decision makers, um, that we really, really need to support New Zealand libraries, that they need to be kept strong and healthy and that they are important to a strong and healthy New Zealand. Um, so BRR, I'm going to hand you over to them in just a moment, but um, they have worked um, with us through a lot of the project, both the research and development of a strategy and also a more concrete marketing plan which Lienza has. So I'm going to hand you over to um, Julian and Emma from BRR who will walk you through the um, branding today. Thank you for the introduction as well. So just to tell you a little bit about who we are, uh, we're BRR. We are an agency that's worked in New Zealand for over 25 years. Um, I think that's really a good description. We're not an advertising agency, we're a brand and design agency. We do a lot of strategic work uh, and we work a lot with uh, community groups, iwi, regional councils. Um, and I guess the common thread through our work is that we work a lot with people to really understand their insights and uh, work with them in, to in order to develop really compelling uh, communications. So that's what we do. And I think it's um, as well a really good introduction around what have we actually created here for Lienz and what we've been working with. Uh, we've created uh, an umbrella entity really, um, which we're really proud of uh, and we're looking forward to taking you through sort of where we've come from, where we are today and what some of the next steps are. So one of the things we started with was looking at um, the task that Vi outlined and looking at this concept of positioning libraries within New Zealand as really foundational, really vital to New Zealand society and an important aspect uh, to New Zealand society. We wanted to really understand from different customer groups and we broke people into high users of libraries in New Zealand, moderate to non-users and really wanted to test out and talk to people about their perceptions of libraries within New Zealand and really understand where they were coming from. As a, it's important with this type of work that we actually talk firsthand and gather those insights. So we went through a process, and this outlines and describes that we had 26 very in-depth interviews uh, with the profession as well as with our customer groups. Uh, we had 17 visits where Emma and I went around the country and visited a number of different libraries throughout New Zealand. And then we ran five workshops with quite large groups of people that um, were very diverse <coughs> workshops. So we made sure that we had different ages, uh, different cultures, different viewpoints uh, in the room. That was really, really important for us. And we tried to have a lot of fun as well. So we got people sort of drawing their perceptions of libraries, what was an environment like. Um, we really tried to capture their imagination even through the workshopping that we did with them. So what really resulted from that was as Vi alluded to, was the opportunity really that we have to create something which is an umbrella entity uh, which can really unify the different um, libraries throughout New Zealand and provide a real platform for us to really communicate. Now what, what happened through the workshops was that we found that 
we really needed to create an attitudinal shift to libraries, positioning them as an essential component. And I guess what the key outcome when we spoke to people and when we got deep into their insights was there was a, a common perception around libraries which was actually quite far removed from what libraries are in New Zealand. And that is really the sum, summary of this early part of the work, closing that gap and making sure that people actually have the right perception about what a library is and what a library can do and how relevant it is to their lives. Now that's kind of in a summary what we found out in the workshops. So we have been developing our thoughts using our brand uh, methodology. And this is a methodology where we create a personality or we create the story of a brand. And a story of a brand is something that we can take out to different audiences that will connect with them on different levels. So what we're about to walk you through is eight values which kind of constitute what Libraries Aotearoa is about. And one what we call single organising idea or an essence. So every brand, whether it's a council brand, a government brand, or anything that we kind of interact with, has this idea of kind of one thing that really drives it forward. So when we're creating these values, um, it's obvious we've got quite a large um, audience um, to talk to here. So we, we wanted to take into consideration all the different sectors. Um, and the idea was to create a set of values that could be dialed up or dialed down on, depending on what resonates most with your sector and your library. Mm -hmm. Ideas through conversation. We believe personalised communication leads to unexpected inspiration. Value two, um, again, talks to um, librarians, is this idea of cultivating relationships. We build the trust to develop lasting relationships. Value three was a really important one for us, um, this idea of by communities for communities. Every library in New Zealand is driven by the needs of the community it belongs to. Mm -hmm. Value four, um, another librarian kind of focused value, um, simplifying complexity. We specialise in navigating through the ever-increasing information world. Um, value five was another important one for us, um, this idea of continually adaptable. Our platform of services, tools and resources are continually adapting to meet changing needs. So our next value, value six here, uh, really came through in the workshops when we talked to lots of different people groups, this concept of lifelong learning. We have the capacity to touch people at every point in their life being there for communities as they grow. The next is value seven. And this is a concept, again, that through the workshops, we really understood that libraries are a place within our communities where there's a real open door. And there's lots of institutions or things that are in communities that have closed doors or there's stigma or there's sort of perceptions of joining a community or going into an environment. And um, our last value, value eight, is this concept of enriching information. Uh, we provide context to support sound decision making. So those are our eight values. As Emma suggested, we can, in this room, some of them may resonate more than others, and that's how they've been structured and built, so that there's that flexibility within them. And as we go through and bring context to the design work, you'll see some of these themes running through the rest of uh, what we talk about today. So Emma's just going to take us through the essence now. So again, this is the kind of single organising idea. What does it all kind of amount to? The biggest thing w for us was finding the overlaps between the different sectors um, because that will give us um, kind of unified um, value across all sectors but the other important thing was finding you know you, you get these overlaps but what's the most unique thing what is the unique thing about about, about libraries um, in terms of their value so for us there were kind of two ideas that are, are kind of summarized in our essence um, equity for inquiring minds we steer the, we steer the journey from information to knowledge based on each individual's specific needs so um, there were two kind of things that were important to us in this. First, this idea of equity. Um, so you, there are a few words coming out around, um, you know, equality. Um, but it, it's not really equality. It's not about giving everyone the same thing. It really is about equipping people with what they need to be equal within society. Um, and the more and more people we talk to, the more and more this theme kept coming up. We feel like that really starts to summarise one of the unique aspects of libraries um, that other you know, um, businesses, community spaces can't offer. Um, 
The other thing was this idea of the journey from information to knowledge. Um, so we're sure that this continuum has probably been debated for centuries within libraries, <laughs> but um, we debated it ourselves. And um, we actually had a, a long think about this. And I think, you know, historically, libraries have been associated with information. You know, it's about providing sources. Here are your sources, off you go. Um, and knowledge for us is actually very user focused you know it's the, it's the user that takes control of their own knowledge and it's created by them um, but what we actually saw as the opportunity for libraries was to um, position them as kind of the facilitator in this journey so um, you're almost the kind of key component that um, enables this creation of knowledge um, which we thought that was a nice kind of position to place libraries on this continuum so that's you know really profession focused piece of communication to actually unite everyone around the same value when we talked to the profession we had some amazing conversations and everyone was very good at um, telling us what the value of libraries was but we didn't get two answers that were the same so mm -hmm. um, there's some there's some real opportunity here to unite everyone around um, a similar belief this is uh, really the last uh month or two on the project, we've been looking at how do we express some of these foundational ideas through design and bring them alive. Now when we look at a brand, a brand is certainly not a logo. A brand is actually about a vision, a point of difference, a story, and then you express that through design and that's where you start to visualise it and visually articulate those ideas. So what this um, uh, group or what we call a design system is, is, a, is an articulation, a visual articulation of these concepts that we've gone through. We really love this idea of creating a system or an expression of the knowledge, uh, the journey to knowledge. And this idea of kind of layering information, this concept as we talked about of life stages, of, dif of diversity, and bringing that through our system in a way where we really reflect who we are as well. We've got a beautiful name. Uh, we actually think that the name is fantastic. Libraries Aotearoa says so much and gives us so much. And therefore, uh, we really wanted to uh, provide a system around that that would bring that to life. Now, we've got a few uh, expressions of that. We've been looking at how it might um, be expressed through digital, what we call touch points, through more tactile touch points. And if we were, just to start to look at early communications ideas. So it's really in its infancy at this stage, but um, is here for us to take out and talk to others about. This is um, kind of the story that we've started to create based on the values. So the values are almost like our kind of internal building blocks that kind of set the foundation. Um, and the story kind of gets a little bit closer to um, talking more specifically to users. But this piece gets us closer to that and does build on our, um, our values, but really brings alive this idea of this journey. Um, so the story's been crafted in that way to take you on a journey. You'll see some of the ideas of the values coming through, um, but it is a, a more of a kind of lyrical expression of that um, and just building on the engagement factor. We've also set up a Libraries ATRL blog. So just quite a simple website at the moment, just um, the main um, purpose really being um, a platform for Libraries Otero to update you guys on what's going on um, so you feel involved in the process. Um, really high level expl explanation on there about what we're doing and what the brand stands for. Um, the main purpose really is to start engaging with people like you and people who couldn't make it and really start a conversation around this. Um, we really want this to be a forum for discussion. Um, so, you know, not just about kind of um, passive comments. We really want real engagement. So feel free to get involved. So if I maybe just talk us through some of the next steps and uh, where we are kind of today and where we're going to from here would be really good. This is about the profession and the values that were coming through from outside through to how we might, um, things we might leverage in terms of how libraries are perceived and we go on wanting them to be perceived. Um, BRR have also worked with the, with the project group. We have a um, strategy for how we might take this forward at um, various, and, and again, I think taking into account exactly what people have noted, that it's not one size, it's not gonna fit all. It's going to have to be a sector-based approach, but hopefully, we will have something here in Libraries Aotearoa which will, um, which each sector and down to individual libraries can 
draw upon in order to give messages out that's appropriate for their community. And just from Yanza's perspective, um, it's, I think that um, Joanna has stressed that we need to, for me to tell you, that uh, before we do any concrete messaging out, it will be, the sectors will be consulted. You know, that's the next, it's not that this will be imposed upon you, that this is what we're going to say. We're not developing something user-facing communications um, on your behalf. It's just really a tool that we can work together and say, how do we work through? I think it comes back to this one here with the umbrella is, you know, how do we draw there? Or it might even be that Libraries Aotearoa is on the bottom and how do we push things up, out through the sector, perhaps rather than drop it down on top. So I think that's one of the things to consider. But at this point, the important thing is to establish that brand and then see where we take it from there. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, thanks, Pai. So a couple of these steps uh, just elaborated on. So one of the things we're really wanting to do is equip the profession, much like this point before, around um, engaging people and really getting ownership around libraries as you are and helping to shape it in the future. So it's one of the next things we're looking at.